the gas tank of Jason Guida by throwing a, a body kick or a body punch. Call it up, measuring up. Guida able to step away from the fence into the center of the cage. There's a nice one-two combination executed by Kalagov, that overhand right. Kalagov should throw a right spinning back kick right now. Right now. There's that spinning back fist. Jason, you're letting him get off. Now he's pulling out all of his tricks here, and Guida goes for the clinch. Over under against the fence. He needs to slow this down. If Guida's going to win, he's going to win ugly, isn't he, Stephen? Yeah, he is. Because this is one of those things where Kalagov's got all the answers standing up. There's no question about that. Wade has got to get this fight on the floor, get on top of it. He doesn't, no. want to be, doesn't want to be underneath this guy. This guy already cut him. Makhalidov now working from Guida's guard. Opportunity to see what he's able to do from top position. Drops a hammer fist, postures up. Looping overhand right. There's a left. Mixing it up very nicely is Mamed Kaladov, who comes to America with a record of 17-3 and 1. Built quite a reputation for himself in Poland, looking to conquer Show XC. Kaladov seems confident that once Jason tires, he'll get, be able to get him into a submission. And it looks like Jason's doing just that. It looks like he's running out of gas a little bit. Someone who's emerged as a top star in the Elite XC light heavyweight division is Rafael Feijão, and I'm sure he is watching this contest with vested interest. There is talk of a light heavyweight championship for the light heavyweight division. And now Guida tries to get back up to his feet. Kaladov mauls him along the fence. 2.20 remaining in the middle round. And here's where a nice knee could come. Yeah, I was going to say, Kaladov was pacing himself, taking his time, picking up the shots. Oh, right hand. Rocks the body, the left and the right. Guida trying to show up. Uppercut kicks through the guard. And now a slugfest here, one-sided by Kaladov. And Guida goes for the shot. The Sprawl by Kaladov. Beautiful sprawl there by Kaladov. I was surprised that Kaladov didn't go to the body with the left hook. Oh, man, rocking the jaw with an uppercut. That hurt Guida. You can't hang out there. Guida's hanging on to that leg for dear life. Looking to regroup. Jason. Gotta have some cobwebs after that last shot. The last minute has been really, really hard. Watch the elbows again here. The referee is right on top of it. And again, I know he's not doing it on purpose, but you have to be very careful. No downward elbow strikes, and of course, no elbows to the back of the head allowed here in Show XC. Kaladov's takedown defense is really, really spot on right here. Timeout's been called by the referee. Looking for the mouthpiece. Jason does not look good here. Guida doubled over, and in fact, Guida's getting a lucky respite here. Yes, he is. The referee's looking for the mouthpiece, while all the while... He might be sitting on it. Where the hell did it go? Jesus Christ. There's a mouthpiece. And there's the cut. Obviously, the referee cognizant of the fact that uh, unnecessary time is being wasted. He's right here. Somebody kicked it. Well, they're both getting a rest here. I've never seen this before. No, it's, uh, you know. I've seen well, one the guy. first time for everything, my friend. I've seen one guy spit out a mouthpiece and his opponent put it back in. That happened in the <laughs> IFL one time. I remember that. I've also seen a referee try to pick up a mouthpiece and give it to the wrong guy before. But, you know, we're all human. Where is it? I don't know. It's here. You're going to have to use this one. He won't accept that mouthpiece. The referee's saying he's going to disqualify him. Let's listen in here. He won't put the mouthpiece in. He won't put the mouthpiece in. I'm on disqualifying. They found the mouthpiece. Now they're going to wash it off. Put it in your mouth. Let's go. Mohamed Kaladov's corner up in arms. Have you ever seen this? No, I've never, never seen, seen anything like this before. <laughs> Obviously, Guida trying to get as many precious seconds as possible. Kaladov should go to the body here. I think a, a right back kick is, is a single shot solution. And you know, it just kind of serves notice that you know, Guida is now lacking in the energy of the field because, yeah, he is. you know, perhaps you want to get you want to put your mouthpiece in as quickly as possible. He did no such thing. And now, he didn't want to jump back into the fray. No, Kalidov measuring him and picking apart here. 30 seconds remaining in the second round. Another crisp oh, combination. Kalidov may have hurt his right hand. 
Yeah. Let's see what happens here. I think Kolodov hurt his right hand, Stephen. Yeah, some kind. Now he's finally going to the body with that left hook. He's not gone back with the right hand yet. Now he does. Ripping the body. Opening up on Jason Quinn. Standing there taking a beating like a human punching bag. You're far We're seeing the meltdown here of Jason Guido. Carl, you said you can only win an ugly fight with this loss of us. Wow, you? yeah, no doubt about that. I mean, I know about the spirit of competition and the adrenaline, but my goodness, Mamet Kaladov, meanwhile, celebrating a victory, but Jason Guido unraveling here. And I think it's because, to be fair to Jason Guida, he knows what was at stake in this fight. Coming off the ill-fated appearance on national television and now just frustrated, upset. It'll be interesting to see where Jason Guida goes from here. That Right when you thought Kaladov had shown all his tricks, boom, came the spinning heel kick. It didn't catch much. Caught uh, Jason Guida on the forearm. And here's the back fist. Jason blocked it. Got into a clinch, but couldn't capitalize with a takedown or anything. So Kaladov remained dominant in the standing portion. And here we come with a beautiful uppercut. Jason Guida shielding but not countering at all. He wasn't trying to land his own punch or kick or anything, just covering up. So Kaladov was just teeing off on Guida here. Now this is a beautiful uppercut to the ground at the point. You can't kick or knee somebody on the ground, but you sure can punch him, and he did. And Jason reeled back. And then we have a, one of the most unusual things that we've ever seen here in Show XC, where we see the mouthpiece get knocked out, and we had a minute and, and a half break, and then we had the, the, the stopping of the fight there by the referee. It's a flurry, multiple flurry to the body. A lot of these aren't landing, but Jason just isn't fighting back, and he isn't really doing anything. Do you agree with the stoppage, Stephen? Because of that fact? He wasn't hurt, but he wasn't fighting back. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's one sign of poor sportsmanship. And you know, I like Jason Guida as a person, but he's already stormed out of the cage with his entourage in tow. Mamet Kaladov will make it official now with Mark Lichtenfeld.